Farshad Nadim of Pakistan. He was fifth at the Olympic Games in Tokyo last year. He was also fifth recently at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. So looking to get his account open. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, gosh. Clearly over the 85-metre line, his lifetime best is 86.38. That is going to be very close. In his second Commonwealth Games, last two majors in fifth position, this is a brilliant opener by Arshad Nadim of Pakistan. He's really thrown the gauntlet down to the rest of the athletes in this field. Look at the roar. 86-81, a lifetime best into the lead. The world champion in 2015, the African champion this year, was disappointed in Oregon. He's 14th in qualifying. Not near his best. Only over 80 metres this year. Oh, but he's responded to Nadine's throw of 86-81. That's better. He's a 92-72 thrower at his best. A little smile from Julius Yego going to be a huge season's best. He just didn't get it right a couple of weeks ago. Brilliant slow-mo replays, keeping himself behind the line. He's got close here to the lead. 85-70, a season's best into second. So a remarkable 81.83 to win the gold at the National Federation Cup in Thini Falam. Here he comes with his first, India's Rohit Yadav. Not too much effort, at least in terms of uh, how his body moved, but uh, minimal effort, optimum result, is it? Yeah, not too bad. Not exerting himself too much enough there. He knew exactly what he needed to do, just get his bearings right, start well, and uh, use his shoulders uh, optimally. That's what he's done. Great technique. Could have used that extra half a meter, I suppose, but he'll be pretty happy with that. 80.66 for India's Rohit Yadav. Manu, of course, uh, from Karnataka and at the 61st Interstate uh, Senior Athletics Championships in Chennai, he threw a personal best which was way past the 80 mark. It was well in the mid-80s. He will look to get somewhere close to that. He's egging on the javelin to go far. That's not bad either. Both these Indians. Watch out, Kenya. Watch out, Pakistan. He's also coached by the 2010 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist Kashinath Naik and trains at the Army Sports Institute in Pune as he crossed the 83-meter mark. Look at how much uh, effort there was from that right shoulder. He just gave it all, he gave it all. He knows he wants the gold, DP Manu. Look at those shoulders, There's so much work that's gone into them. Absolutely, Manisha. It was just uh, some time ago where he was uh, throwing 62 to 67. That used to be his range. And his rise has been meteoric. Ripped the field to shreds at the World Championships. Made that goal his own. And he's come to the Commonwealth Games with the same intensity and focus. A bronze at the Gold Coast in 2018. A huge favourite to get the goal here. And that is why he is so. Is that past the 83 meter mark for this 24 year old hot favorite in the men's javelin throw final? A gold at the 2019 Doha World Championships, another gold at the, the Eugene World Championships earlier this year. Went past the Indian Neera Chopra. 82.74, just a touch better than his first. Links to silver medal with a personal best of 82.54 meters at the National Interstate Senior Athletics Championships at the Nehru Stadium in Chennai. Here he comes, India's Rohit Yadav. How far has that gone? No, did that change direction off because of the wind? It's been that kind of day. I mean, the wind's picked up and and then it's been suddenly suddenly sunny the next moment. So I wonder if that was a factor just not able to generate enough from the rest of the body uh, Rohit Yadav step overs were all right penultimate step was okay but just that power has been a problem for Rohit Yadav 80.66 still remains his best he is uh, two throws out 
DB Manu, of course, uh, one of those many young throwers who would have taken great inspiration from his uh, silver medal showing at the World Championships. The first Indian to get a medal at the World Championships since uh, the great Anju Bobby George. DP Manu with his third attempt. He's not crossed the foul line. How much has he got on that throw? He's getting slower. And this is what I meant uh, with javelin throwers preferring to expend the limited amount of explosive power that they have in their first three throws. Usually, in the later half, the throws get smaller and shorter. The difference. Brilliant to see the Indian 4 into 400 the team warming up right behind Rohit Yadav. What a race that promises to be. Rohit Yadav with his throw. It's not a foul. How much distance has he got on it? Not a lot. Is unable to breach the 80-meter mark. And uh, you can see that it's going to be a struggle from now on in. This is where your physical conditioning of a javelin thrower really comes into play. How fit are you? Thomas Roller, the great uh, German javelin thrower, used to say javelin throwing is 20% only about the fast arm. It is 80% the rest of your body. How fit you are will determine how long you throw in the later throws from 4, 5 and 6. Confident looking throw. Sub 80 once again. Eighty point eighty is... Uh, the best he's been able to manage so far, Rohit Yadav. And uh, would have liked to cross that 83, 82 meter barrier at least. Has not uh, been able to do that as yet. Has one throw to go. At 82.28, that has been an impressive throw by this very young javelin thrower who is just beginning to make his mark in the world of javelin throwing. DP Manu. A part of the top four of the all-time India top list of men's javelin throw and that isn't a throw he'd be too proud of his expression says it all side of a tired shoulder I suppose he learned so much from this uh, money uh, money ship here comes Anderson Peters from Granada in contention for a bronze medal he go past Julius Diego. Looks happy. Has he gone past Pakistan's Arshad Nadeem? Looks like he has. Is that ahead of 88 meters? Anderson Peters is showing his world-class form yet again. He took a while to get into his groove. But is that throw good enough? Looks like it is. Way past Arshad Nadeem. Has he snatched the goal from the Pakistani? What a champion this man is, Mani. Just some time ago, we were saying he's looking nowhere close to his world championship form. He switched on. He's focused. He came into this with an intensity we've not seen in his previous throws. And look at that. This is the good old Anderson Peters that we are used to. The control on the run-up was superb. Manish has already recorded a personal best. Can he do that once again? Get better than his personal best. Have to see where that lands. It's unbelievable! Ashraf Nadeem has just become the first man from South Asia to cross the 90-meter barrier. This is incredible! Ashraf Nadeem has just scripted history it is 90.18 it is a games record and more than that he's not just the first Pakistani but he's the first South Asian to cross the 90 meter barrier this is incredible he has shredded the games record to pieces here in front of the world champion Anderson Peters in his last attempt Ashad Nadim has done the unthinkable the golden shoulder Twenty-one and twenty years of age, the future of Indian javelin.
He'll be happy with that. He'll be happy with that. It doesn't matter whether he gives them uh, a medal or not. But Rohit Yadav wants to make a mark, wants to leave his imprint on the world stage. Way past the 80 meter mark, that has to be his best. It's good he's not being satisfied. He will bow out with 82.22 meters, but the expression on his face, his body language tells you that he believes he's got more to offer in the times to come. That, that's a very, very good sign. And especially DP Banu, I have been so impressed with him. 82.28, last attempt, but 82.28 in such a big event for the first time. Sensational. His personal best will do. Uh, under the 80 meter mark, but uh, DP Manu and Rohit Yadav should be proud of how they've competed. They've given it everything they had. They've given it months and years to reach this big stage. Has been at it since uh, since a long, long time. This 22 year old from Karnataka and it, this man at the 2015 World Championships won the gold with a throw of 92.72 meters. Julius Yego, how far is that gone? Ah, just past the 80 meter mark, he looks happy. He's been a big, big name in the World Javelin for the last so many years, a 33 year old. He's proud, he believes he will have a podium finish with that throw. 85.70 is his season's best. Goes past. The 90.18 meter mark set by Pakistan's Ashad Nadeem. Here we go. Anderson Peters. Does he have it? And so with that, the gold will go to Pakistan's Ashad Nadeem at 90.18 meters. Silver for Gunaras and St. Peters. And bronze for Kenya's Julius Yego at 85.70. We've seen a dramatic end to the men's javelin throw final at Birmingham 2022. It has been dramatic. It has been superb here as we had expected it to be. It is uh, a field that does not have Nita Chopra but it is a field that has delivered on the drama, the entertainment that we had expected that we would get. Asha Nadeem Games record, personal best. What can he do in number six here? Look at that. This is what javelin throwing is all about. His rivals cheering him on. And this is great camaraderie. This is what sport should be all about. Asha Nadim, last and final throw. What has he done here? Not his best. It does not matter. The gold will go to Pakistan and the gold will go to...